Hey guys, Dr. Jason LaMarche here. I'm driving right now as you can see, but I definitely wanted to talk about something I read this morning. It's an article about hypertension, talking about how um, high blood pressure can actually increase your risk for stroke and heart attacks. I wanted to squash that myth. Uh, and hypertension is now actually anything that's over 120 over 80, which um, was considered to be normal and is now anything over that is, is hypertensive. So 130 over 80 is, uh, is considered to be dangerous now. I don't think it is. Um, it's just an attempt to prescribe more drugs to more people. Why does blood pressure go up to begin with? It goes up during times of stress and it's a good thing because if you didn't have high blood pressure during a stressor, you, would, you wouldn't survive. So look, if a bear was chasing me, the last thing I would want would be low blood pressure. I want high blood pressure during times of stress because it helps me survive. Now what you don't want is the chronic stressor, meaning you don't want to get chased by a bear all day, every day. That just leads to exhaustion, it leads to disease, it leads to death. Stress hormone is what boosts your blood pressure. Now being on a pill that lowers blood pressure does not lower stress hormone. That's a very important point. Stress is what mainly causes the heart attack and the stroke to begin with. So just lowering blood pressure does not get rid of the stress. Lifestyle change is by far, by far, by far the most powerful thing you can do. Obviously diet is important, we all know that. Exercise is important, yes. Chiropractic adjustments, huge for decreasing stress hormone in your blood. There's even studies that support that. Uh, fats, not the problem. Bad fats, yes, they're the problem. Good healthy fats are actually very cardioprotective. That's avocados, coconut oil, butter is very good, egg yolks are very good, and you get a lot of good fats from, from nuts and seeds, of course. Exercise, exercise is great because it helps you practice the stress response. Whenever you exercise, blood pressure goes up and it goes up really, really high, right? Um, if high blood pressure were to kill you, you see a lot of people dropping dead at the gym from having really high blood pressure, but they don't. High blood pressure in itself does not kill people. The stress is what kills people. So you have people that, you know, they have heart attack and then they go, they see a cardiologist and they go, you have 95% blockage of a certain artery in your heart. Okay, but they had 94.5% blockage the day before, but they didn't have a heart attack. Oh, it's not the blockage that always causes the heart attack. Matter of fact, many times it's not the blockage that causes the heart attack. Your body has a great ability to adapt to a lot of different things until it's a breaking point, then things happen. But if you have an artery that's blocked, your body actually creates new blood, new blood vessels that goes around the blockage. Amazing, it's beautiful. If you learn anything from this video, I want you guys to understand that it is not high blood pressure in itself that kills people, that causes heart attacks, that causes strokes. It's the stress which can be addressed with chiropractic adjustments, change in lifestyle, reduce your stress, change your diet, start exercising more, and really be kind to people because that goes a long way. So if you guys have any questions, which I'm sure you do, feel free to comment below or uh, go ahead and shoot me a message. A lot of different ways to get a hold of me. Don't be shy, okay? Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.